Hello YouTube, this is Irishbear76. I'm here to talk to you about depression. Um, I've seen a video recently from a friend of mine that I care very much about and I recognized where uh, my friend is in their um, journey through MS and um, my stuff is very positive now. Um, a friend of mine who doesn't have a mess, but he's, he watches the videos because we record music together. And, uh, he has noted, he's, he's like, Mark, I've never heard you be as positive as you're being. You know, you, I've never heard you speak so optimistically and, and you know, with your words having power and, and no fear. And it goes back to that time when I was going through the stages of grief. And... Um, I was scared and very angry and there were times when um, suicide uh, crossed my mind um, with my first exacerbation. Uh, I had really bad vertigo and it was intense vertigo. I can't, you can't even describe it. Um, you don't know up from down, side from side. Um, everything's just spinning so rapidly. You, you don't know where your orientation in the universe is. Um, I once read how fast the earth is hurtling through space um, where we don't sense anything and how quickly the, the earth is rotating, like hundreds of miles per hour. But we don't sense it. You know, something with gravity and, and the way our equilibrium is, we, we don't sense that movement. And the best way to describe this, the, my first exacerbation, which was intense and horrible was that that veil had been taken down that I actually sensed how fast everything was spinning and hurtling through space. And that's the best way I can describe to you that vertigo. When I think of that vertigo and the thought of it ever returning, I, it's enough to make you want to put a gun in your mouth and pull the trigger because it, it, it wrecked me. It was hell on earth. And, uh, it's easy to get sucked in. That's a trap door you can't come back from when you get so depressed that you lose hope. And um, well, the only thing that can pull you out of that black hole is, is you know, a spiritual light um, from within. But um, it's a normal thing, you know. Let's let's look at. I, I want really want to talk to you today about about depression and how serious it is and and suicidal thoughts and all that. Um, if you have a suicidal thought, even a fleeting one, which I have, I call a therapist. I have a therapist. I see a psychiatrist. Um, if I have that kind of depression, the interferons can cause suicidal ideation. This point blank, they can cause you you to not think right. Um, and even if you're not on beta ser or beta ferons, um, just the organic changes in your brain from the damage, your white matter being destroyed, um, your limbic system, uh, it, it's responsible for emotions, aggression, mood. Um, there's a thing called pseudo bulber phenomenon where you can go from hysterically laughing to bawling like in a millisecond. We have organic changes in our brain that are going to cause us to change the way we think. Do not be deceived if you're feeling like, um, <sighs> Life isn't worth living. I'm depressed. I'm just going to be a cripple. Um, what do I have to look forward to? I don't want people wiping my ass. Um, it doesn't always go there. Um, in fact, it's the exception, not the rule. So don't be deceived by these thoughts. Um, the, the medicine can cause depression. The, the disease itself causes depression uh, from the organic changes in the brain. Your brain is changing its composition on a molecular level. You are having scar tissue replace actual fatty myelin that is going to cause a disruption in, in, in your you know neuronal activity, your neurotransmitters firing. You are not going to have enough of your excitatory neurotransmitters how do I say it in layman's terms? Um, you're not going to have enough of the chemical you need in your brain to make you happy because it's not going to be available. So that chemical in your brain that makes you feel good, you're not going to have as much of.
when you have MS. Prepare for that. If you have MS and you don't have a psychiatrist, get one. Get a therapist. Talk to your neurologist. If you're, if you're taking interferon or any medication and you're having thoughts of suicide, report it. The life expectancy for people with MS is not reduced. Do you know that there's research out there that says that your life expectancy is reduced because of suicide? Because people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s killing themselves. It's chopping down the life expectancy as a whole. I may live to 70 with MS, but somebody kills themselves at 30, you know, yeah, one person living to 70, one living to 30, or just we use that two examples, the median, the median number is 50. So they say, okay, your life expectancy would be 50. That's on a small scale. MS doesn't have to ruin your life. It will not decrease your quality of life if you don't let it. If you do not let it decrease your quality of life, life is a gift, whether you're in a bed or in a wheelchair or whatever, um, or walking. And it, I never was this positive before. Like I said, my friend that knew me when I was in the stages, the stage of grief known as depression, nothing looked good. I was very um, dark, miserable. And I, I, by the grace of God, I was allowed to get out of that stage of grief. And just never forget that, that it starts with anger, denial. Um, you can have bargaining. Like, God, if you don't let this be bad MS, I'll, I'll do more acts of charity. It don't work that way. Um, you eventually get to depression and the, the bottom falls out and you're ready to, uh, you're ready to uh, do things that you never thought that you could do. If you're having those thoughts, please get help. The depression with MS is real. Um, don't be deceived by your mind. Um, if you have thoughts of suicide, please report. Report it to your doctor. Report it to your loved ones. And um, always know that I'm here. Um, if you're that sad and you want to give up, um, you email me uh, through YouTube. Um, I'm here. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, kind of compelled to. Uh, and just to recap, like I said, it's not just the drugs. There's changes in our brain that are happening. And it's it can change the way we think. So hang in there. That hope, if you grab a hold of hope, you'll make it. Um, God bless you. Take good care of yourself. And uh, always remember that uh, I'm here. There are people out there to help you. And uh, love, love is all you need. Just like the Beatles said. Bye.